In this problem, we've got a box sliding to a stop from some initial known velocity of 3.5 meters per second. It experiences a kinetic friction coefficient of 0 0.25 between the box and the floor. And I've already kind of labeled it up where the box is stopped at the end of the problem at a distance of x from where it started. And what I want to calculate is how far does it slide. So we start putting force vectors in. It's the force of gravity pointing downward. There's a normal force pointing up. And there's no motion in the vertical direction. And no other vertically oriented forces tampering with that direction. So I can tell immediately that the normal force is mg. And the reason this thing slows down is because there's an acceleration pointing to the left caused by a force pointing to the left. And that's the kinetic friction force, Fk, given by mu k times the normal force. So first I'm going to get the acceleration of this thing. And then it becomes a kinematics problem. So if I look at my x analysis, I'm going to go ahead and try to color code correctly. I'll look at my x analysis. I have um, only one force in the x direction, and that's fk. So let me just start with Newton's second law, f net equals ma. And I'm going to be careful about my signs here. Um, alternatively, you could just put the signs in when you get to the kinematics part. But I'm going to go ahead and call this force negative. So I have negative fk. Well, that's mu k times the normal force. equals ma. And if I go ahead and put in the numbers, mu k is 0.25. I'm going to go ahead and leave it general for a second, just to point something out. So it doesn't actually matter what the mass is, so that's gone. So then I'll plug in some numbers, and I get that A is equal to negative mu k times G equals negative 0.25 times 9.8. And I get 2.45 meters per second squared. And that's going to be valuable, so I'm going to keep it in a box. And I forgot my minus sign. <laughs> so there's that. All right, so now I have a kinematics problem. I have an initial velocity of 3.5 meters per second. I have an acceleration pointing the opposite direction. So we're encoding that with a sign. I have an initial position that is labeled as zero and then a final position that I want to calculate. So that's the distance to slide to a stop. So I think the kinematics formula that gets this done quickest, oh, one more thing I should put in my list, is that the final velocity is zero because I'm sliding to a stop. Uh, the formula that will get it done quickest is this one. My initial x is zero. My final velocity is zero, so I end up with 0 equals v naught squared plus 2ax, which means that x is negative v naught squared over 2a. That's negative 3.5 squared divided by twice 2.45 with a minus sign on it. All right, so the numerator is negative, the denominator is negative, and those minus signs cancel out. So I'll just change them to pluses and get a number real quick. And I end up getting 2.5 or 2.50 meters for the slide distance.